Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Common Sense Academy. This is Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to take a look at a website called the Common Law Courts, Great Britain and International. Um, this was uh, shown to me by one of my patrons who uh, goes by the name of President Trump. Thank you very much, sir. Is a shout out to you for showing me this. Um, it's, it's basically a British sovereign citizen slash Freeman on the land website. We're going to have some laughs over this. Uh, if you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Really looking for subscriptions right now, trying to get to 10,000. It's a free way to support the show. I have many patrons who I am eternally grateful for. They support me in the best way possible with donations. However, this show will always remain free. You can support me by subscribing to my channel or sharing these videos. Thank you very much. Also, I have an email list. Sign up for that. You'll get a free PDF on a history and examination of the sovereign citizen movement. In the meantime, we're going to take a look at this fun and sort of hilarious website. Okay, so it's called Common Law Courts Great Britain and International. Oh, 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 I forgot before we begin, before we begin, raise your glass, your cup in the air. It tastes better when we sip together. Cheers. Let's have a sip together. Okay, and we'll enjoy this video that much more. Delicious. Okay. Lawful remedy. Everyone can be held accountable for their actions, and every man or woman that has suffered a wrong has the right to a lawful remedy. And then they got some fake documents here. This is the good stuff. Deed of declaration. Register your birth certificate under common law. Already registered your birth, become a member, get your common law court card. So in my new book, I'm going to talk about some of the different types of sovereign citizens when the book comes out, hopefully soon. Schemers, leaners, and true believers, okay? This is a combination of schemers and possibly true believers. These people, this website, it's a slick website, okay? They are making money off of people being... Uh, gullible and quite frankly, <laughs> excuse me, idiots. Okay. Welcome to the site of the common law court. Help to reclaim our rights and lawful remedy. The truth is that throughout everyday life, people everywhere use and rely on common law to live and work together. It is simply the inherent way that people conduct their affairs together. Liken it to the roots that bind together human communities by unconditionally upholding the life, dignity, and well-being of every man, woman, and child. No, that's not what the common law is. This is your fake common law. You made up this common law. To extend our everyday reign of common law into all areas of life means to challenge the arbitrary rule. The rule is not arbitrary, okay? Laws in a democratic society are passed by legislatures. Usually there's two chambers and an executive, so it's got to pass through basically three different phases of government, who all elected representatives. Then the Supreme Court can strike it down if it's not in line with the Constitution. It's called checks and balances. You get to vote for the people that put in these laws. You get to support the laws that you want and oppose the laws that you you don't want. You get to vote. It's called democracy. Quit arguing this stupid common law. Okay, here's uh, here's the good stuff. Order, take back control, order your CLC card. CLC cards are available for Great Britain and internationally. Each will have a passport photo, the flag of your country of birth, and the information that you have recorded with the common law court. I mean, this is slick. They look like nice cards. It's good marketing. It's fake. OK, this card is going to do nothing <laughs> but empower people to be dumb and to break the law and get arrested. I mean, I can't think of a worse idea. I mean, they're slick looking cards, though. Look here. I mean, Jane and John, they're pretty slick looking. I'll give them that. Oh, oh, and here's the good part. Donate to help the common law court. So far, the common law court has been convened on 11 separate occasions. Oh, my God. Would I love to be a fly on the wall during those ridiculous, loony uh, conventions. 
It has dealt with 73 different issues and over 200 people. Whoa, that's a lot of people. But to assist with further development, we require additional funding. They are taking your money and flushing it down the toilet, okay? They argue against lawful money, but they gladly take yours when it's convenient. All right, let's click on this community part. Community forums, declaration of the CLC. Oh, just because you declare it doesn't make it true. The Hall of Shame, this is interesting. Let's take a look at that. Hmm. So here, um, they publicly shame law enforcement officers. Real nice, real nice. Before commencing, ask the individual parent, Sheriff Kinlock. Real nice. So they're publicly shaming. Well, that's fine. I'm publicly shaming them. And if you see down here, um, the vast majority of humanity means that it only needs to be consistently practiced by enough of us to allow the sheriff officers and the authorities to enforce. So they're going to start disobeying laws, okay, until they get enough people that they can declare that the actual laws th that were created through a democratic process don't exist so that they're non-democratic. They're non-democratic law. Keep that in mind. The people who want to impose this common law, they're not asking for your consent. They're not asking for you to participate in it. No, they're looking to overthrow the democratically elected government and laws for a, a fake, frankly, dictatorial implementation of their own idea of law. Okay, they, they're basically, in a way, they're treasonous. All right, so here's some good stuff here. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't have it. I don't have the corona. Okay, CLC card. $25 for this card, $25. Let's read the customer reviews. Thank you all, especially John. Great work in all directions. Thank you. Thank you so much. Your interview was seriously enlightening and welcome change from very stressful insomnia induced period in time. The issue of possible mandatory vaccines. See, oh, vaccinators, they're going to, the vaxxer, anti vaxxers are going to be protected with this card. Is a serious one for me for a lot of aware people. Even more concerning, though, is 5G. Ah! Oh. Ah, this is currently being rolled out in Australia at an alarming pace. Quick, burn down the towers. Can you please send notices to the telecom companies here and or relevant departments to halt this movement ASAP, please? These have already been turned in on some areas, and we are petrified knowing the irreversible damage this weapon can cause. These people are dictators. Okay, they are. They're basically anti-authoritarians. They want to push their point of views on you, and they're not asking for your permission. They're not asking for your consent. Okay, let's look at cases. Look at this. They have these cases, 34 cases. They lost all of them. They're going to tell us they won. I'm sure they lost all of them. Conven the People versus Theresa May and Nikki Morgan. So they sued the Prime Minister of England of the UK. Convened as a lawfully recognized common law court, the common law court dealt with the issue of the unlawful rollout for 5G. <laughs> unlawful rollout. Okay, these people are dictators. I'm serious. In relation to the plaintiff's case, Willie Mercer presented his statement of claim on behalf of the people, a PowerPoint presentation, and gave evidence confirming various crimes committed against the people. Please, I would like to see um, that PowerPoint. The defendants have been served with a court summons, court information, and a copy of the case against them failed to appear. Oh, did they really? Defendants failed to submit a written defense and failed to take up the opportunity of a pretrial conference to resolve matters before the hearing. After an extensive presentation, witness affidavit, supporting documents, and examination of the evidence, the jury of 12 reasonably minded men and women returned the following verdicts. In relation to and the request of for court orders, all were granted. These are like people who dress up and play fake court. I, it, it's just hilarious. Uh, man, it is out of this world. Let's look at their deeds. Uh, you must complete your birth certificate registration, fictitious names, birth certificates, medical marijuana, lawful rebellion, sales declarations, marriage certificates, commercial liens, list pendants, motor vehicles, companies register, other documents, public notices, proof of life. And again, here's the problem. Here's the problem. You go to this shop, okay? Um, look at this. They sell these $9 for a business card. 
Uh, $9, $9 for these fake documents. Look at all this money they're making, okay? They make just a couple sales a day. Uh, they're making a significant amount of money on, on fake documents, merchandise. This is harder to knock. I mean, hey, if you want to wear some fake clothes, that's fine. Those fake legal documents, that's trouble. Um, it's kind of a neat logo. I'll give them that. I mean, some of this stuff is slick. Pay eleven fifty to wear a hat that makes you look like an idiot. Uh, let's see what else they're 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 selling. Void orders. Void orders. Council tax order. Bankruptcy order. Children's order and a civil order. A property order and a criminal order. Let's see what this um, bankruptcy order looks like. The following documents, seven, eight documents, description. Here's a description. Fake legal documents. Um, we've seen this. We saw this in uh, Anthony Williams in the United States, called himself a common law. He got a, a common law something and uh, on his website, and he called himself a private attorney general. I mean, the, this people is dangerous. Mr. Williams swindled people out of tens, I think hundreds of thousands of dollars, maybe millions. Birth certificate search, lawful rebellion, other documents, motor vehicles. I mean, this, this kind of stuff, I'm sorry. It's just click here to record your birth and set up your account. Okay, birth certificate. Here it is. Here's all the stuff you got to fill out. Mother's address when child was born. Name of, well, don't they claim that they, that they don't know when their birth was or their birth was real because they can't, they don't remember it? Um it's just, it's laughable. It's laughable. I know I'm here taking shots at this stuff, but I can't help it. I'm an attorney and this spits in the face of uh, everything that's good and well with the Constitution and, the, and democracies that exist in the United States and in Great Britain. They're not perfect, but boy, let me tell you, they're better than the dictatorial uh, overlordship of the common law courts. Okay. The problem is when you have something uh, as, as abstract as the common law, it turns out to just be whatever people interpret it to be. Like, that, that's what dictators do. They can just claim anything's the common law, and then they can impose that upon you. Whereas in a democracy, our laws are written down so that you can go and see what they are, okay? And yeah, you can argue about the meaning, but you're only going to have so much room to argue, okay? You're only going to have so much room to argue, no matter what. Um, words can confine, you know, without, without writing, your argument space over the meaning of, of words can be this big. With writing, you can confine it. You can make it much smaller and give the law much more meaning, strength, and legitimacy. Um, thank you, everybody, for looking at this website with me. Please don't go to this website. Don't pay any money to it, okay? It's just unbelievable. You can Google it. I'm not going to put it in my description because, frankly, I don't even want them to get traffic. But you, you can find it, obviously, if you want to take a look. Um, thank you very much for going down this little lane of hilarity uh, with the Common Sense Academy. Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Really looking for subscriptions and shares. Two free ways to support the show. Sign up for my email list. You'll get a free PDF on a history and examination of the sovereign citizen movement. And I want to do a shout out to William, Kev, Megan, CW, Thomas, Stewart, Romantis, Pim, Carl, Jacqueline, Michael, Arlette, Jessamy, Richard, Joseph. Thank you, my patrons. You guys make this show possible.